Hi, my name is Chris and I wanted to show you how I am developing red footage shot with a new IPP2 timeline shot on our red weapon um, with a helium sensor. So I shot this last week um, a Neanderthal man going around with a torch and that's the clip. And if you import the clip into DaVinci uh, right now because IPP2 is not supported uh, right now, uh, you still get uh, Dragon Color 2 and Red Gamma 4 uh, preview. So if I change the clip settings and change the color space to red, white, gamma, RGB and the gamma core curve to log 3G10, uh, we get a much flatter image, which is a way better starting point for grading. So how do you develop this uh, image? Well, the most simple thing would be to simply start away with grading. So we add some contrast here, like this, add a lot of saturation. Like this. Yeah. The clip was a bit underexposed, so I give a bit more shadows back. Like this. Okay. This is nice for the primary balancing. And then after that, we can start with the grade. So maybe add a bit of warmth to it, just doing a quick and dirty grade. So you can see what I was thinking about it. So, okay. This would be one way, of, one way to start the grade. But there's another way. Let's add a new version. Version so red supports red provides some uh, lookup tables for IPP2. You can download them from the red website, and with the simple lookup table, you can uh, have a nice way, nice um, base grading. Like like this, we can start off with a low contrast and then a nice highlight roll off like this one, and simply see. Let's delete the grade. Yeah, if I switch back and forth between the versions, it's quite similar. We get a nice starting point for grading. And we also can add nodes before the lookup table, so we can do some exposure adjustments and maybe lighten them up a little softer, like this. Okay, now give it a little bit more shadow like this. So um, this is a much quicker and more convenient way of to start your grade. But there's one more thing I wanted to show you. Um, one guy, I, don't, I don't, don't remember his name in the Red User Forum, um, he developed primers. These are base lookup tables to start your grade off. And I think they get the best out of the helium sensor. So if I apply one of these, one of the, these four lookup tables, and you can buy them from him, I think it's about $100 or something. Um, you simply see that, I think, um, you get the most out of your helium sensor. Um, you see the image is much more vivid and, and balanced. So if I'm starting my grade off this, and add some, some minor adjustments, Is make it a little bit warmer. Yes, and then adding a zero node with the window. Like this. can see we get we can get a real nice image out of this and all this was based just for this um, uh, ju just because of this very nice starting point um, as a primer there are, there are different um, for there are four different versions of this uh, basically they're all the same the vivid is a little bit more contrasty and the push is if you have a very unexposed image and you want to push it a half a stop or a stop. So, what I like to stick with the um, base. What I also like to do is add film convert in the end. So, and lower the curve a bit and the grain. And I think we got a really nice grading of this. 
But um, yeah, as a bonus tip, I wanted to show you one extra thing. S several times I had uh, I needed to create red footage along with Alexa footage. So we had the, they had the A camera shot in the Alexa and the B camera or the red or, or other way around. So um, there's another very nice lookup table. Let me add a new version. Uh, which is called Red to Alexa, which I also found f on the Red user forum. Um, I think you can buy it also from, so I don't know, I'll put the link in the description, um, which uh, gives the Red footage one stop more exposure because um, Red used to be one stop less bright than, than Alexa, but this is fixed right now with the new um, IPP2 updates. But uh, as soon as I apply the lookup table, the footage gets one stop brighter, and then after that I, I add another lookup table, which simply is the Alexa to uh, 709 lookup table conversion. So we, we can see this is uh, really bright, but this is how it would look like if we had the same camera settings and we would have shot with an Alexa, not with the red, uh, with the old IPP2 pipeline. So. When I'm um, matching red to Alexa, this workflow is very interesting and gave me the best results so far. But for now, I really like to work with the primers because I think they um, get the best out of, the, of your helium sensor for now. So thanks for watching and see you soon.